Bro, maximize minimal potential. That's exactly who this guy is up here. I was born in Buffalo, New York. My dad was a very abusive man. Didn't care about anything but himself. So what happens is when you grow up in a toxic environment, you grow up with having limited horizons. My dad was a very stressed out person, insecure person. So what he did was he picked on the weak. And the weak was my mom, myself, and my brother. So growing up, several beatdowns. You know, I don't have much time, but I'm gonna explain to you one beatdown that I had that kind of changed everything for my mom. So my mom would get beat alongside me and my brother. There was one time my dad beat the hell out of my mom, knocked her out on the top of the stairs, drug her down the stairs by her hair, and at eight years old, I jumped on his back. He beat the hell out of me when I did that. Fast forward to the next morning, I was supposed to go to school. The bruises on my body were so bad that I didn't sleep in my pajamas. My mom pulled the covers out. Hey, time to go to school, David. She saw black and blue all over me, bruised up. She's like, I can't take this anymore. So she was in that toxic environment for 16, 17 years. We left to a small town, Brazil, Indiana. Brazil, Indiana is a small town. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. A lot of great people there. But the clan at the time was about 12 miles from where I lived in Brazil, Indiana. So in 1994, we had the KKK marching in our 4th of July parade. When I was going to high school, they spray painted, nigger, we're going to kill you on my car. I had a very toxic life growing up. So with that, I never went to school. I hated school, didn't go to school. So if you don't go to school, you're not going to learn much. But I became very crafty at a young age. I realized for me to survive, I had to find ways to fudge the system. And how I got through school was I copied. I copied on every single assignment. So here we go. Fast forward, I want to join the military. But I had no idea to join the military. You had to take an ASVAB test. Had no idea. I thought you had to do push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, stuff like that. So here I am. I walk into the recruiter's office. He's like, hey, you ready for this ASVAB test? And whenever I heard tests, my butt would pucker up because I was always scared of them. So I always had my good buddy, Johnny, I copied off him going through school. So what I did was I told the recruiter, hang on a second, I'm gonna take it tomorrow. So I go home, get my buddy Johnny and say, hey, I need you to take this ASVAB test beside me. He's like, why? I'm gonna come trying to get in the military. So he goes with me to the ASVAB test taking center and I'm sitting there and I look over and the drill instructor's passing out all these tests. I look over at Johnny's test he has test A and I have test B. So I can't copy off of Johnny. So I take the test, I bomb it. Go back a month later, bomb the test again. So now in this whole process, I realize one thing. I'm not gonna be able to cheat to get through this test. I'm gonna have to now find something more in myself. Cheating's not gonna do it. So my mom got me several tutors when I was growing up. None of them worked. This is the funny thing about when you change your mindset, when you truly want to do something. So I wanted to go in the military. She gave me one more tutor. I had a tutor for six months, got back, passed the ASVAB test. 